Well, Paul, any interest in getting a pineapple under the sea frosty? You know what I want? I want the Wendy's fries. <laughs> they have top five fries. Not, not, not sold on the pineapple frosty, mm -hmm. but burger looks good. Fries look great. Take those fries outside. Grab that table outside your favorite in and out and just enjoy the outdoors. It is a gorgeous day in the metro area. A little too chilly for some of you at the beach, a little too warm for some of you inland, but the metro area is right in between 79 degrees in the Hollywood Hills with sunshine. Here's what I'm talking about yet another cloudy day. This is a June gloom type pattern for the beach. I know it's October, but the setup in the atmosphere is similar and you are cloudy and only 67 degrees. Downtown Los Angeles, 75 with the typical Southern California hazy sunshine. Average high dropped below 80 degrees today for the first time in several months. It's going to keep falling all the way to 67. That is the lowest average high that we get in Los Angeles. We'll get there on December 10th. We stay there for about a month, but today it's 79 degrees in early November. It'll be down to 75. Where will today land relative to average? Even though it's cooler than it has been, we'll still be four degrees above average with a high of 83 in Los Angeles. Look at Ontario out of the 100s. So it's an improvement if you don't like the heat, but still a dozen degrees above average. Santa Ana, however, with proximity to the ocean, you will be two degrees cooler than average with a high of just 75. Burbank, 76 right now. We have decent visibility, a light breeze, and you are so much cooler than the past couple days. Same story for Simi Valley. The ocean influence has hit you. It's coming up from Camarillo, traveling along the 118, and it's only 79 in Simi Valley. Fullerton, 75, Santa Ana, 71. But if you get inland, uh, we are still pretty hot. Temecula, 88 degrees. Palmdale and Lancaster, also 88. Santa Clarita, 89. This pattern right here is conducive to keep the onshore breeze going. We've got a stormy pattern up in the Pacific Northwest. It's that time of year. You're going to see an L up there, a low pressure center somewhere close to Seattle for the next several months. And our ridge of high pressure has now been squeezed off to the south and to the west. Both of these are enhancing the west to east flow. You can see those little arrows in the background. That's the flow of air coming from the ocean, which is chilly, and into your backyard, which is now cooler than it has been. It's not a one day deal. It's going to take a while, but look at what happens in the Inland Empire. You go from 95 degrees today, which is 10 degrees cooler than we have been, you're going to lose 10 more degrees over the course of five days between now and Sunday. And early next week, you're only going to have a high of 81. Uh, for our valleys, you've been up to like 105, 108 in this pattern, down to 95 today, 92 tomorrow, 87 by Sunday, 84 by Monday. And for the metro area, Today's high 83, pretty comfortable. We'll stay in the 80s through Saturday, but then cooling off next week. How about a high of only 73 by next Monday? Amy, back to you. All right, Paul, thanks so much. Now you can get your KCAL news, weather, and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.